Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey there, it's David Stenner with tonight's Deep Dive. It is January 8th, 2019, and I want to do things a little bit differently today. Instead of looking at a specific market on our traditional page here, I'm going to be looking at a lot of different markets, and I just want to point out a couple things that are kind of interesting that are taking place with some of our Deep Dive patterns. So we have two different Deep Dive patterns. Uh, these Pro Alerts are either on a daily bar basis, which is what these represent, and then we have another chart, which is the exact same alerts, but they're applied to weekly bars and because there are so many of these alerts that are going on right now I thought I'd at least address uh, the stretch and the pulse which are reversal types we've got profit taking which is what I talk about a lot when the market has kind of moved too far and it's telling you to take a little bit of profits uh, but the the reversals are literally just that they're looking for a reversal a, a legitimate reversal in the market it could be a short term or it could be a more substantial but nonetheless when we look at these reversals, we have the pop the stretch the pulse and the dazed. The stretch and the pulse are the ones that we're going to look at here today. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on them because I don't have too much time on these deep dives. But I just want to point out that we've had a number of these alerts that have triggered as of late. And so think of them as more cautionary than that of a profit taking. This is kind of a, a last gasp that the market actually might have some, some type of a reversal. So I'll go with the basics here. When we're looking at uh, these uh, different types of alerts, they're going to either say low or they're going to say high. And when we're looking at these things, we're going to be looking at uh, low and then the inside the circle, it's going to represent how many trading days ago, not calendar days, but trading days ago, uh, did this actually take place. So when I update this, you can always look at the date and the time that uh, we've updated this. It will take into account that day's action. Uh, when I do it in the morning, it's looking at what happened overnight and that's not a final number. The final number, since these are based on daily bars, are those that are done here in the afternoon uh, and after say four o'clock since the markets close at different times just the, the late afternoon, that's going to be more of an official number. So when we look at these things, specifically on the, the stretch and the pulse, uh, when we see these uh, indicators out here, just look for a lot of these things taking place. And right now, 72% of all of these alerts are profitable, not profitable from the standpoint of we're buying and we're selling. It's simply looking at a short-term basis. When did they trigger and has the market moved up or down since they've actually gone through their alert process? So on a daily bar basis, you can see that uh, there's a lot of alerts that have uh, triggered as of late. That always gives you an indication that there's flux in the market, that uh, what has been happening is beginning to reverse on a short-term basis. If we take a look at the weekly bars, it's going to be basically the same thing. But you see there's a lot of uh, alerts that are actually out here. Not as many on the stretch and the lows, but there's a lot of profit taking that are going on here. But there's a lot of zeros out there, so a lot of things took place. And so what you can always do is simply go across for a particular market, whether it's lumber or the Russell, whatever the case may be, and you're looking for a lot of alerts that are all triggering basically at the, the same time. And when you get those types of conditions, it's well worth watching those bigger markets uh, because there's probably opportunity to be had. And if we look at all of the weeklies, which is what this represents, and there's more markets on the, the weeklies, we're looking at 81.5% of these are actually profitable. Uh, the only odd one here is on the lazy bar, and that just simply represents that the market is consolidating. It's not having been overbought or oversold, and tells you how many, in this case, weeks has it been in that phase. But all of the other ones are simply telling you that a low is triggered, the zero represents today, today's action. These will stay on for a total of four days trading bars, so in this case four weeks, and give you an idea as to what is taking place and whether or not there's opportunity to be had. So I just want to point this out since there are just so many of these that are out there uh, that there's just obviously we can tell a lot of flux on the market, a lot of reversals in the market, and the uh, the weeklies will be longer term oriented while the daily bars are going to be those that are going to be triggering and looking for short term pops in the market. Whenever you get one of these alerts, whether it's on the daily or the weekly, please 
obviously what you want to be doing is looking at the systems and uh, trying to get an indication as to uh, what's taking place from the systematic perspective and sometimes these alerts uh, specifically on the reversals and on the uh, the um, the profit taking that those are ones where the markets for the most part are going to probably have some adjustments made on the system so it's an alert that something has taken place within that market uh, the final thing that I'll point out just because I want to keep this uh, kind of tight here is that uh, the new uh, newsletter is out and the way you get to that if you come to membership you come down to seasonal newsletter and what we do is we do a seasonal newsletter every quarter and the color changes we're in winter so it's blue and then what you can do is you can sign up for it and uh, download the uh, the series and uh, in this particular case it'll look like this it's a a total of I'm not sure how many pages but it's fairly substantial uh, in the the number of pages that we actually have so 14 pages uh, some of it is just a, a write-up of myself and uh, Darren Newsom who helps to to write the, the newsletter in this your case there's you know a fair amount of information that can be had so again if you're interested you just simply come to memberships seasonal newsletter and then sign up for it and then uh, you'll get that to your copy it'll just be a quick download and then uh, it'll pop up it's a nice little PDF and something that will give you an idea as to what's going on with some specific markets and uh, how we're kind of viewing how to trade some of those markets uh, uh, for the next three months so January February March so with that being the case uh, we'll take a look at uh, some more markets here soon enough it's been very busy on my side uh, solely because of the fact that we're going to be hopefully announcing some new new software soon uh, that will allow us to push our indicators and push our specific systems to people so that they don't have to come to the website and so from from that standpoint I've been in a lot of meetings trying to get a lot of these things uh, taken care of and uh, thus far it's uh, it's been a long process trying to get this done but it looks like we're getting very close to being able to roll this thing out unless there is some type of a surprise and I've had numerous surprises over the years uh, in trying to get this done uh, it looks like uh, it's really going to come together so that the initial testing thus far has been pretty good we're always looking for the stability to things and that's the case it's easy to send the, send the stuff out uh, the tough part is making sure that it's stable and it's doing its job correctly so with that being the case we will take a look at another market soon download the seasonal newsletter and uh, look at these deep dive patterns whether on a daily or weekly basis it always give you an indication as to whether or not there's opportunity to be had in the markets thanks for watching and we'll look at some more markets tomorrow bye bye